Welcome to my channel. Today I will show you the recap of the movie The Sleeping Dictionary. Before we start make sure you like comment and subscribe if you are new here. The Sleeping Dictionary is a 2003 British-American romantic drama film written and directed by Guy Jenkin and starring Hugh Dancy, Jessica Alba, Brenda Blethyn, Emily Mortimer, and Bob Hoskins. The film is about a young Englishman who is sent to Sarawak in the 1930s to become part of the British colonial government. There he encounters some unorthodox local traditions and finds himself faced with tough decisions of the heart involving a beautiful young local woman who becomes the object of his affections. The Sleeping Dictionary was filmed on location in Sarawak, Malaysia. John Truscott, Hugh Dancy, a young and naive Englishman, travels to the British territory of Sarawak, Borneo, referred to as a colony in the film, to try to apply his father's work to the Iban Society. There he meets Henry Bullard, Bob Hoskins, and Aggie Bullard, his boss, Brenda Blethyn. John works to civilize the area by constructing schools and providing educational opportunities for the Iban people. Unfamiliar local customs greet him. Selima, Jessica Alba, becomes his sleeping dictionary, teaching him the local language and customs while sleeping with him. John is sent up a river where a sickness is affecting the Yakata tribe. He and Selima travel inland. John witnesses a nearby mining operation run by Europeans. He notices that the Yakata have rice, which has been given to them by the miners, and he guesses correctly that the miners have poisoned the rice in order to get rid of the Yakata. Knowing that they will exact vengeance, John tells the Yakata what has happened. The Yakata wiped out the miners. Despite their best intentions, the two find themselves in an illicit relationship. Despite the Longhouse's opposition, John is keen to marry Selima. They imprison Selima after John informs Henry of his plans to marry her. They part ways when Selima agrees to marry in the Longhouse. Bullard has threatened to charge him with the deaths of the European miners. He strikes an agreement with John. John must abandon Selima in order to spend a year in Britain where he will meet the Butlid's daughter Cecilia. Another local British official, Neville Shipperley, Noah Taylor, is envious of John since he had planned to woo Cecilia for himself. A year later, John is seen marrying Cecilia. He still struggles to get over his past with his sleeping dictionary. With Cecilia, he decides the best thing to do is go back to Sarawak to continue his work there. Returning to Sarawak, Cecilia notices John's desire for Selima, with his constant distance from her. Cecilia demands to know more about Selima, and John replies by saying that she is married to Belensai, and that the couple have a baby together. While collecting rocks for research at the lake, John notices Selima with a newborn. He feels the child is his and wants Famous to set up a meeting between the two of them. Selima returns home soon after, completely oblivious to John's presence. John begs to see his son, and Selima quickly rushes away before John can intervene. John meets his kid Mundar for the first time in this scene. When Belensai learns that John, John is spending time with his wife, he sneaks in and tries to kill him with a razor, but only manages to injure him. The following morning, Henry tells John about his own sleeping dictionary, which led to the birth of a second child, Selima. When Belensai is caught for trying to kill an officer, he is sentenced to be hanged. Selima is not happy that Belensai will be killed as he's been a good father to Mundar. Not wanting to kill Belensai, a friend of his, John goes through with announcing Belensai's hanging as he had no other option. Later that night, Selima tries to break Belensai out, not knowing John is already there. When she walks over to the jail cell, she sees John breaking Belensai out and handing him a gun. As Belensai escapes, John asks Selima to meet him at the dock so they can escape on the boat. Selima tells him he won't come as they'll catch him. John turns to Selima and says then I'll tell them I'd rather have you than a country, or a language, or a history. They embrace as the rain is pouring behind them. The next day, since the people of the Longhouse have turned on Selima, she is forced to become the sleeping dictionary for Neville. Later Cecilia announces she is pregnant, shocking John. That night, Selima bashes Neville on the head, knocking him out, because he has attempted to attack her and force her. She grabs the baby and runs from the house, heading for the docks. 
Although John still has plans to be with Selima and their son, he begins writing a note, but stops as Cecilia catches him. The couple then discuss John's feelings for Selima and Cecilia's desire for him to be happy. Aggie is enraged that Cecilia and Henry have allowed both John and Selima to flee together, because she never left Henry's sight for fear of him taking his sleeping dictionary with him. She motivates Neville to pursue them. With the help of Famous and the Yakata, John searches for Selima, as she's left believing that John didn't come to the place of arrangement. They reunite as Neville comes through with a gun. He tells them to cuff themselves around the bamboo, and tells them of his plans to kill John, Selima, and their baby. They're then rescued by the Yakata, who kill Neville. In the end, they decide to live together and migrate with the Yakata.